Walt with West Palm Dog, and I've got little Pablo here. What we're working on is go to bed, and we've shown you a video of go to bed before, but now we're actually trying to make it a little bit more difficult for him. So instead of sitting, I'm standing, and what I want him to do is to lay down on the bed. Pablo, go to bed. Thank you. Yes. I'll tell him stay. Big hand signal, stay. Yes. Very good. So just standing up is difficult for him to deal with. Yes. Then when we're done with the exercise, I tap him on the head, release. Now he can get up and move around if he so chooses. Now in this next particular exercise, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and take one step back and have him deal with the stay while I take that step back. So I'll throw a piece of food just to get him moving. Pablo, go to bed. Yes. What do we do? Yes. So now I'm gonna take one step back. Ah, ah, ah. What do we do? Take one step forward to kind of push him back on the bed. Stay. Uh -uh. Yes, that's it. There we go. Good boy. Down. Pablo, what are we doing? So he's actually doing really well because he's ignoring Marty. She comes in and he's focusing on me. Very good. One step back. Yes, there. Good, Luis. That was so good, Pablo. That was so good. Yeah, it was. So that was actually really cool. We had somebody walk in through the front door, and Pablo was more focused on me and the food than he was in saying hello to Marty. Really good stuff. Stay. One step back. There we go. Yes, what a good boy. Yes. Tap on the head, release. So as you can see, this is how we build the, uh, the stay with the go to bed. We introduce small little pieces, a step back, standing instead of sitting, having people come in, different objects in the rooms in different places, all these different things can cause him to want to get up and move and change his position. And he's doing really well. He's, he's willing to focus. Right, right. Yeah, little boy. He's doing awesome. Lots of spins. <laughs> All right, these can be wrapped up.